We are back with a Fox and Friends exclusive former First Lady Melania Trump granting us her first sit-down interview since leaving the White House. We met at her new home in Mar-a-Lago. Take a look. Being your First Lady was my greatest honor. Thank you for your love and your support. Melania Trump, thank you so much for joining us on Fox and Friends. Thank you for having me. Well, I think this is your first sit-down interview since being in the White House, is that right? It is. It is my first sit-down, yes. How is life, um, you know, since leaving the White House? Life is great and um, keeping it busy and, um, you know, time flies fast and uh, we are just, everybody's doing very well. We're here in beautiful Florida. What are your real thoughts on Washington, D.C.? I mean, your husband called it a swamp. It is time to drain the swamp. What do you think of it? I like Washington, D.C. I know it operates completely different than any other city, but uh, I really like it there, and uh, I enjoyed living in the White House. To be First Lady of the United States was my greatest honor. I think we achieved a lot in the four years of uh, Trump administration. I uh, enjoyed taking care of the White House. It was uh, my home for a while. I understood it, uh, it is a people's house. It was, um, it was a privilege to live there. And maybe it'll be your home again? Uh, never say never. <laughs> never say never. Being out of D.C. and having that time, what do you make of the state of the country right now? I think it's sad to see what's going on if you really look deeply into it. I think a lot of people are struggling and suffering and what is going on around the world as well. So it's very sad to see and I hope it changes fast. It's been in the news. As, as someone who loves children and is dedicated so much to their betterment, how do you feel when you see shortage of baby formula and families just struggling to get basic items like that. It's heartbreaking to see that they are struggling and it, the food is not available for children in 21st century in United States of America. Why is it happening? Leadership. Leadership or lack thereof? Yeah. I know opioids was part of your Be mm -hmm. Best initiative. Mm -hmm. uh, I was watching New, the news recently, record amounts of drugs. And yes. In fact, we did a little research. You were the only first lady to go to the border. You did it twice. Yes. What's it like to see the things you worked on so hard change so drastically? It's very sad to see that it changed so drastically. I know that uh, COVID uh, brought uh, another um, struggles to the people who were having uh, problems before. But uh, what's going on, it's um, unthinkable. A lot of uh, people are dying from drugs, and it's, um, it's very sad to see. How did you put up with the constant criticism? Fashion statement. Mrs. Trump uh, flew to and from the nation's capital wearing a jacket with a stunning phrase on the back declaring, quote, I really don't care, do you? The media. Take um, Vogue, for example. Five months into Joe Biden's president, Joe Biden's on the cover. Kamala Harris is on the cover before she's even sworn in. Hillary Clinton was on the cover when she was first lady. Michelle was on the cover three times. Yet, with your business background and your fashion background and your beauty, never on the cover of Vogue. Why the double standard? They're biased and um, they have likes and dislikes. And it's so obvious, and I think American people and uh, everyone see it. It was their decision, and I have much more important things to do, and I did in the White House than being on the cover of Vogue. Seems like anything you do, no matter how well intentioned it is, the criticism is constant. Melania Trump has an initiative called Be Best. Um, wow. Forget the grammatical challenges there. We don't know if Melania is moving murder for us down to the Winter White House. The only thing she's been working on is an escape tunnel. Well, people I see always criticize me whatever I do, and I'm used to that. I move forward, and I'm here to helping people, and that is the mission. And those people who criticize me, I would encourage them to help in their own community. 
or maybe join my Foster the Future initiative. What is Fostering the Future? I know that's an initiative of, of Be Best. Why is uh, working with foster kids such a passion of yours? I started to work and visiting the foster care facilities uh, when I was in the White House. And uh, just last week I visited a place of hope as well and met with the leaders of foster care community and some parents and children. And I met also with the adults uh, who aged out of the foster care system. Just know like when they turn 18, they still need help. They need our support, resources, empowerment to to, to achieve their American dream. So you're using a new technology to help uh, raise the profile and fund these initiatives. I have been working on my NFT projects uh, since I left the White House. My NFTs, they are available on melaniatram.com and usmemorabilia.com. And now we have a few of the NFTs that they are minting on it. It's a national park, beautiful 3D animated uh, pieces, and uh, Potus Trump. There are pictures and animated uh, videos from our time in the White House. Mm -hmm. And especially the one that I created for Foster Care Month, it's uh, the rose, the meta rose. Some of the proceeds of uh, the sales of NFTs will go towards uh, education, providing education opportunities for foster care children who are aging out of foster system. Yearly 20,000 children are aging out of foster care. A year? A year, yes. And now we have 407,000 children in foster care. In America today. In America in today. So I will be uh, proudly grant um, scholarships to the children, uh, to students who deserve it. Your first scholarship recipient, uh, his name is Michael Weitzman. How mm -hmm. about we surprise him together? Are you okay with that? Yes, fantastic. If I give him a call yes. and he doesn't know you're here. Michael. Yes, sir. How are you? Hey, I'm good. It's Pete Hegseth with Fox & Friends. If you would, share your story in the, in the foster system. Yeah, you know, I was born to a single mom who was 18 years old. I became a foster child. Lived in different homes until I was 17. I know you're, you're aware of the scholarship you're receiving because of Melania Trump uh, and, and the Fostering yeah. the Future initiative. What does that mean to you? What does it mean to get that kind of scholarship? It's literally a dream come true. Well, you know what's, what's neat is that, uh, well, let me just do it. She's hearing what you're saying right now. Uh, if I may, Michael, First Lady of the Whoa. United States. <laughs> Hello, Michael. Hey, Melania, thank you so much. Nice to meet you. So good to meet you. Thank you so much for your generosity. Uh, you're very welcome, and um, I just wish you a great success. And I know you're starting the classes in the fall. And yeah, uh, just make your dreams come true. Study hard and send me your grades, okay? <laughs> I will. I got you. Straight A's. Here we come. Fantastic. Thank you for sharing an update with our viewers who are excited to hear from you and all the efforts you're, you're doing here on National Foster Care Month as well. Thank you so much. Yeah, I want to thank Melania Trump and her team for making that interview happen. Uh, and, you know, it, it, they're really throwing a lot of effort into working the foster care program, as you saw. Uh, and they get even criticism on that from How? people saying, Oh, is it real? Where's the money going? Are there really scholarships and all of that? So uh, we got a chance to, to really unpack that and her interest in technology as well. And she said, we'll see on the future of going back to the White House. Yeah. We'll see.